Hey guys, welcome back to the Argon Realm. Today I am doing a video that has literally nothing to do with my channel, but it is that time of year again. Back to school. Now I know that everybody, well some people, majority of people, hate going back to school. But my favorite thing about back to schools, it back to school, whatever. But my favorite thing about school is back to school shopping. I have a lot of fun doing it every single year, but then it just continues on to the first day of school. But today, I'm doing a BTS haul, which is back to school haul, if you did not know. And I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. So the first thing I have is a ruler, because you never know when you're going to have to line stuff up with a pen and pencil or whatever. Yeah, ruler. Next, I got some mechanical pencils. I don't know if you can see, but there you go. It is a green-ish in a green type of leaf. That one look, kind of looks like a blue, but it also does come with a pen, which is good, I guess. And some lead and two erasers in case I break something or I ran out of lead. So that's really helpful. The third thing that I got is highlighters and for some reason it says that plus bonus one highlighter which is the green one but literally I don't know why it would have a bonus one since you have all the colors for highlighters but whatever. Got highlighter. The next thing that I got is some pencil cap erasers I guess you can call them. Toppers. Um, just in case that my erasers on my pencils break and have to use these. So. The fifth thing that I got, fifth? Yeah, fifth. Um, I got some glue sticks because we're gonna have to glue stuff down in our journals, I guess. Of course, we're gonna have to. Next, I got some colored pencils. It's actually a decent sized pack. It's not 42, it's 24. Okay? Um, actually, it is a decent sized pack. It has a lot of colors that you can use. From here, if you can read backwards, just go to a mirror and look at the video as well. That'll help you. So, yay, color pen. The next thing that I got is some um, markers because who does not like markers? The 10 pack with the original colors just brown, purple, or violet, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, black, pink, and gray. Markers. Man, my skin is really light in this lighting, but whatever. Next, I got a blue, red, and black pen. Um, the thing that I like about these is that you can write with them and then you can just erase them. And, oh, there's the blue. Okay. And um, something else cool about them, if you, can't, if you don't know where to track them, it's at the clips. See that? Yeah. Eh. I forgot the blue in my hand. Anyway. I like these. Thank you, Walmart. The next thing I got are some color pen well, regular pencils, but who wants regular pencils when you can just paint them with acrylic paint? So I got that. Now, no one will take it. I got all the rainbow colors that I painted. And a life hack that you can do is someone likes to steal their pencils. First of all, I hate them, so screw you all. And uh, just get a rubber band or a hair tie if you're a girl. What is, it? is it called a hair tie? I don't know. Um, just put them together and then put them in your binder, which I will do next soon. Um, just put them like that and then hide them somewhere where you don't want anybody to touch them. And you got them for the rest of the year until they break. The next thing that I got are some index cards because we're going to have to take some notes on these. And the thing that I did not notice about them, they are colored if you can see. Yeah, there you go. You can see all the sides and on the back. These are going to be really useful this year. Mm -hmm. And going with these pencils, I also have this sharpener um, just in case I need to sharpen it. Instead of going out of my desk and then going to sharpen it, I can just pull it out of my binder. And the way it works is there's this little door here, I guess. You just pull it down and then you sharpen there. Close it up, and then when you're ready to dump, just open this part up, and then there's the hole where you can dump it. So yeah, I kind of like this. It's pretty handy. The next thing I got is this huge binder, because I'm going to have a lot of work to do this year, since I'm going to middle school, 7th grade. Um, so there's a zipper here on the front, and I don't know why there's a zipper, like, right here, if you can see it. I don't know if you can. There, there's a zipper over here. It's crushing me. I don't know why it's there, but yeah, it's pretty... Nice, and it comes with um like dividers in here. So even though it was about thirty dollars or something, it's still useful. Let's go inside. The first thing that is in here is this divider pouch, I guess. It comes with a calculator holder, but I don't have a calculator, so I'm gonna put my phone in there because everybody needs a phone. If you don't have one, I'm sorry for you. They're awesome. There's this little zipper here, which I am keeping the. I can get it out. The divider paper where you can mark your classes, and then you don't know what the paper is going. Where your papers go. On the back of it, there's a little pouch here and another pouch to put your pencils or something. Here are I would recommend rulers and stuff. And then there's a little pen holder. 
I personally didn't know what this was until I found out, oh wait, pen tool, pen holder, whatever you want to use it. You can just put your clip, like let's say, I took my blue pen, just clip it onto there. Simple as that. But yeah, I found that. And for this year, I have some really pretty, for, I'm not gonna say pretty, some really cool design um, journals, or spirals you can call it, about this blue one with a zigzag. Um, I like the designs on this. I was originally gonna get the normal kind, but I found these, and then I'm like, screw that, I'm getting these. So there's that blue one. I got this green one that kind of looks like diamonds, I guess. I'm not sure, but whatever. Cool design. Then I got a red one, which is, I would say, flat, I guess? I don't really know it. I don't know. Then I got a, I can pull it out, regular green. Yeah. What the heck? Okay, it's stuck to the red journal, but. So you got a green one, and then I got a red one. Okay, there we go. I'm going to put it back. So that is the right side of my binder. Now moving on to the left. Over here, we got a zipper for your pencils and pens and other stuff for markers. And as I said before, the dividers comes already in it, so you don't have to buy it. Got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and six. I think, I don't know, I don't know how to count, so don't judge me. <laughs> um, so I'm going to have about six classes or something. One, two, three, four, five, four, five, I don't know. Okay, so just removing this zipper over here. Not zipper. Velcro. You got a. I also have these expo markers. I forgot. Um, but then it comes with an extra purple one, which I'm gonna use for my whiteboard back there, possibly. Mm. And then there's a pouch over here, uh, right there, where my head is. And then I had a journal, but no one wants a plain old boring journal, so I decided to make my own and make a galaxy because I'm obsessed with galaxy. The back is normal though, so, hmm, no one's gonna know, just me. And then finally the final part, there's another patch where I'm keeping my journal. So, yeah, that's basically my entire mind. For this year's lunch, I have a igloo lunchbox, which has a small pouch here so I can hide my goodies so no one steals them. Opening it up here, you got the, basically, just where you keep your food. I'm gonna find a nice pack to put in here, my other ones don't fit, they're pretty big. So zip that back up, and then we got this other part here on the side, which you can put your water bottles in, and you can actually see in here, so you can be like, oh, and my mother put in here, huh, absolutely nothing, it's darkness. It smells nice of it, kind of like the airport. There's my little brother. Say hi, Hoogus! If you want to see him, he's in my last video, the What's in My Mouth Challenge, you can go check that out, and leave a like there. So, yeah, big glue lunchbox. I'm going to have lots of lunches. Now moving on to the life hacks part of the video. First one I already showed you with my supplies is keeping your pencils in a rubber band or hair tie so no one steals them. And besides, these yeah, are painted. Up? Yeah, that's it. These are painted. I don't want anyone to take them. So, yeah. Do that so no one steals them. The next life hack is with these pens. Let's say some peop some person people. Some person comes up and steals your blue pen. You lost it. And you don't want to go back to Walmart or Target or any of those places, the dollar store, if you're cheap enough. Well, the dollar store is cheap because it's a dollar. They steal your blue pen and you can't find it. Okay, it's gone. You can either just make a mark, like put washi tape over here, over it, but I don't have any washi tape, so I don't put it over there. I just get to hide it in one of my pouches and then my binder. Or you can just take your red pen and your blue pen, take out the ink of the blue pen, put it in the red pen, and then put the blue ink. No, wait, what? I need time. Okay, before we start, Rex decided to join me here. He's a German schnauzer and I love him. He's my baby. Say hi to the camera, Rex. Right there. Yes. There. Yeah, he doesn't like the internet, but whatever. So as I was saying, let's say you have these two pens. I have a third one here, just in case. So, take your blue pen, open it up, and put it in a red pen. And then take your red ink and put it in the blue pen. So now, if someone comes by, they're not going to take the red pens because literally everybody has red pens and they don't like red pens. But really, your blue pen has the ink, the red ink, and the ink right here is blue so you can just use it and all will know. If that sounds confusing to you, I am sorry, just go check it up on the internet, you'll know what it is. The next life hack, or third, I guess, yeah, third, um, if you have one of those old dividers, take it and 
stick it onto your door of your locker because for me, this year I'm gonna have classes that are gonna be switched, like even to odd. Oh, Ricky's yelling. Okay, baby. Oh, he's tired. So I'm gonna have um, alternating classes, even in odds. So I would suggest getting a divider, sticking onto your door of your locker, and then putting your list there so you know which classes you'll have for the day and the week until you finish with school, which will be an awesome day. The next life hack, or the really fourth. I would suggest getting a whiteboard or a corkboard or whatever you have and getting like some sticky notes or note cards that I have. Write like your tests down or anything that you have to do and stick them onto there and then you'll just remember what you need to do for that day and then you can possibly pass. If you don't, I'm sorry for you because I never pass any tests or ace any tests. Rex, what are you looking at? <laughs> Alright, so yeah, do that. The fifth life hack is if you don't have any clothes or you don't know what to wear for the next day because I like being fashionable, which I'm going to be for this day, for the first day of school, is pick out your clothes before the day begins. Like, I'd say, let's say you have school tomorrow, I'd suggest picking your clothes the day before school, at night. So you, when you get up, you'll have your clothes ready, and then you can just go take a shower, smell good, get fresh, and then, the shirt's not fresh, so it's just the Avengers, I guess, shield. But yeah, so you can do that, and then you'll be ready. The sixth life hack is for a water bottle. What you want to do is fill it up the day before school, put it in your freezer, if it can't break, then that's good. Put it in your freezer to leave it overnight, then when you wake up, you can take it out and put it in your lunchbox so you have a nice cold drink. That's all the life hacks I have for you guys. If you have anything else that I should know about, um, leave it in the comments below and I'll make sure to see them and I'll possibly make a video on it if you like it. If you want me to, leave, leave a big thumbs up and yeah. So that is it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you do, leave a like and comment and subscribe around here. Go follow me on my social medias. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time in the Argo Road. Peace out. But before I leave, I'd like to give a big shout out to my friend AJ. Um, this is his YouTube name. Um, like Snipe, Snips, or Snipes, whatever, Snips, I guess. Um, go subscribe to him because he wanted a shout out in this video. So I gave him one. Hope you enjoyed AJ for that shout out. Yeah. So go subscribe to him and see you guys next time. Bye bye.